Here is a 2024 BMW X6 M60i in Brooklyn gray metallic over black sense of fin. This year, we get an LCI, which is going to refresh some of the exterior and interior components. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and right off the bat, you're gonna notice the front has been changed. Sleek LED headlights and daytime runnings that's been reworked. The kidney grille has been tweaked. Satin aluminum that's going to be around the surrounding and the lower bumper, more boxy. Eight inches of clearance with standard air suspension, standard rear axle steering, which helps up to five degrees in cornering positions or tight areas for maneuverability to make it a near 50-50 weight distribution, even though it's 51.2, 48.8. Underneath the hood, houses a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque paired to an eight-speed ZF automatic transmission, achieving 17 MPGs for the city and 22 MPGs for the highway. BMW says it reaches 60 at 4.2 seconds with a top speed at 100 and 30 miles per hour. 20 inch wheels, multi spoke, blue brake calipers, housing four pistons in the front, a single floating caliper in the rear. And the coupe design is going to be a tenth of a second slower than the X5 M60i. The gloss black finds itself around all of the window housing and on the M spec side view mirror cap. If you want the traditional, you'll get the X5, which will give you a little bit more cargo, the same power that's housed underneath the hood and the same towing up to 7,200 pounds. The SAC or sports active coupe will get the LED taillights. You get the side vents, they're non-functional but it gives an athletic style and you get the quad exhaust tips that's chrome with the gloss black elements that's going to go all around it front and rear parking sensors and a 360 degree reverse camera power lift gate or kick to open going into 20.5 cubic feet of storage because of the coupe design it sets up but it still has a deep opening the privacy will fold underneath the floor you get a lot of storage with a 12 volt charger, bag holders, split fold the rear bench at a 40-20-40 split, and that will increase cargo to 54 cubic feet, which will be less than the X5. Let's go inside, start up this twin turbo so you could hear that exhaust note. We do not have soft closed doors, 20 way power seat adjustment, heated, ventilated, memory for the driver and passenger, headroom and leg room. Dash starts off with the new design that gets the ambient lighting and the embadging. We have the wood inlays and the satin aluminum with the reworked air vents in the center that goes into the side, heads up display, Harman Kardon sound system. One curved panel with two screens, starting with a 14.9 inch with navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Switch it to reverse. We have the 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory for the front and the rear. When you click onto the more, you have the car wash view, which will show the trajectory in the front and you also have the 3D view, which you can use the iDrive and just roll all around it or touch or simply use the gesture. Working into a wood inlay that opens up to your wireless charging pad, BMW digital key, and the new key fob for the X6 M60i. Ambient lighting will be in the interior of the satin aluminum, wood inlays around the new rocker in the iDrive 8. It's gonna be soft to touch, opens up inside. It is a deep storage pocket. Twelve point three digital reader, which can go through an array of information from different content, and we also have the AR, which will show the camera in the front of the vehicle. When you click over here, you can also change the layout for the heads-up display. 
And you can also change the whole layout for the gauge cluster to make it a little bit more sporty or a little bit more open. Auto dimming rear view mirror with a large panel moon roof. The ambient lighting in between the satin aluminum and the wood interior. Door pocket has a couple of beverage holders carved out. For the back seat, headroom and leg room. Even with the coupe design, you could still fit that if you're over six foot tall. Air vents in the center, two tiers of storage with a 12 volt and storage behind both of the front seats with USB behind both of the front seats. In the center, you have your cup holders and you have storage for the armrest. No sunshades, door pocket is going to be a little bit smaller than the front and the same materials are found throughout the door. Sliding into the center, the floor isn't completely flat. The rails are pushed up enough. You will be sharing some feet space Foot and shoulder space will also be shared a little bit and sitting into the center is going to be a lot more tight for somebody that's over six foot tall. 51.8, 48.2, this is what you're going to get with weight distribution here. It stays planted on the road for these curvy turns. Feels good, you also have the five degrees of steering for the rear axle, so it makes it a lot more precise for a near 50-50 weight distribution. And with 523 reasons, I have to stop right here to put it into Sport Plus so we can really see how fast that zero to 60. Here we go. It's a soundtrack, it's fun. It's going to give you some energy for your day. And I'm liking what I see when I'm looking at comparable rivals like Audi, Mercedes, or even Porsche for the price you're getting with this. Hands down, this is going to beat it in performance. I mean, It just has a fun exit to it whenever you're taking anything for some curvy roads or just going around a simple roundabout just to show some of those dynamics. Now that's going to take me to some pros and cons and starting with the pros. I like how they have made a uniform for all of the X SUVs. It's boxy. If you need it smaller or if you need it larger, you don't have to necessarily have a different look for the exterior. Obviously, when you go X6, you're getting the coupe style. When you go X4, the same thing. Another pro is standard rear wheel steering, which helps whenever you're doing any type of maneuverability, getting in and out of a hard parking spot, going off of a curb from the interstate, or even just taking some corners like you already saw. It will help manage and basically give you a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. I'm gonna give her a little go. And that brings me to the next thing that I like, that it's a comfortable drive, even though you have all that power underneath the hood, you're not sacrificing in a long journey. It's quiet in the interior of the cabin. Some cons, there's no power increase for the M60i or the M Competition, but there is on the base and the plug-in. There's no updates to the interior seating, only the dash, the infotainment screen, air vents, and the center cluster. It sounds like a lot, but it's really just camouflage to fit into pretty much every BMW, which when you start getting into performance variants, I would like to see a little bit difference instead of the same similarities. I do like the air vents, the way they're structured. They just don't give as much air out of them as the prior LCI. Towing has an increase. Storage is good for the cargo and because of the coupe design, it's enough. I mean, you have over 50 cubic feet of storage. It will sit up a bit in the rear, which can be one of those things that people think of an eyesore or they like it because of the coupe design, but any of its competition is going to basically have the same design element to it. But a twin turbo V8, it's really hard to turn them away. A vehicle you could drive every single day. The steering is pretty light, so you can move in and out. And you can also adjust that depending on the driving mode that you want to make it a little bit more desirable for you. You get four pistons in the front, so stopping isn't going to be a problem. Single floating caliper in the rear. Turn radius is gonna get about two lanes. Let's give her a go. 
Now the sound does filter in through the speakers, but again, when you're considering any of the rivals that are all doing the same scheme, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise website and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like, and I'd like to thank BMW of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2024 BMW X6 N60i for our car review.